गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज रत्ना फ्रॉम द मेरा मिसा ब्रांच लाइब्रेरी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू मेक ए वॉल हैंगिंग यूजिंग सम ओल्ड सी डीज एंड ओल्ड डी वी डीज इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दिस वी नीड सम सप्लाई विच इज सम ब्लैंक सी डीज वी नीड सम परमानेंट मार्कर सम ग्लू स्टिक्स tape scissor we also need some cardboard cutouts or you can also say it's a cereal box uh, strips and we need some circle cut out from the magazine or a notebook some sequins to decorate to decorate your cds some pre cut wrapping paper circle and some satin ribbon or yarn so it looks like we have everything ready so let's get started so uh, we will grab a blank cd and the first step is we are going to draw some pattern on the disc so i am going to draw some very simple pattern you can use a permanent marker it is good idea to use the dark marker or you can use black or blue any patterns any color you would like and after we are done with drawing we can color it this is done so this is i just drew one but i can show you some more patterns that you could draw like this you can draw flowers you could draw some lines simple lines just the lines or you could draw a rainbow a rainbow triangles rectangles what you would you like to draw so it's up to you okay so after that our second step is to color this so let's grab some permanent markers and let's color this cd okay so the color choices is up to you you could use either warm colors like red orange yellow or you could use cool colors such as blue green purple so i am going to use this color to make it more bright so this is how we start coloring it so i have some series which i just created so i drew first and i colored these using these permanent markers as you could see here and in this cd i used only blue and pink color so it doesn't have to be all colors you could just use one or two okay. i'm going to use some paint uh, permanent markers to cover this area too so this is pink so i will just color this one it with the pink color so it will go in continuation but any other color can be used too Let's find the blue color. So we will cover this part. It would look the same. After you are done coloring the disc, suppose this one is almost done. In the end, I try to use either black marker or navy blue marker to kind of do the outlining. That gives a, it looks much better after that if you use the outlining in the end. so suppose this one i am going to make an outlining again to make it brighter and after doing this one one more thing i would like to do you see the borders i usually outline the borders as well so let's grab it and let's draw it so you can see now the difference between this one between this disc and this one this one is colored but there is no outline so it looks a little dull but if you like this way you can leave it this is just the idea okay so now our discs are ready so we are going to attach it okay how we are going to attach it first we have to flip it this way then we are going to use these cardboard strips so you put it here in the middle up to discs 
green here and again here okay and then we are going to use some scotch tape to tape it it is a good idea to use you know tape you can double use a double tape to kind of make it sturdy so it won't fall out so let's see how it looks so we just attach these four series okay and our next step is to cover the back of the cd this part so i already have some pre cut circles uh, round shapes from the magazine so the best way to do it just use apply apply your uh, the glue stick directly on the cd and just glue it here so our dvds and cds are already attached now we are going to decorate it with using some sequins so i have saved some sequins here and i also have some uh, wrapping paper cutouts so these are you could use whichever you like okay so let's use sequins first so i'm going to put some glue here and i'm going to glue it in the middle so in that case you can hide this part that is showing okay and if you would like to use um, this uh, wrapping paper you could use wrapping paper as well so this is your choice see how it looks and this is a wrapping paper which is like a different color so multi color so let's see how this one looks just to give you an idea so these are some options you could use and if you like to use this and this on top of this that's another thing it depends on what material you have av uh, available at home okay so we are done with the decoration now we are going to um, attach a loop so let's see how it looks so let's attach the loop okay which we are going to do here on top so let's so this is our loop as i told you um you can either either use a um, satin ribbon if you have it and if you do not have satin ribbon you can always use yarn so we can double it and just put it here and you can either tape it and you could also do tape this one in the end with the top cd you can put this paper later on after put in the loop I want to show you that wall hanging can be made using two discs, four discs, ten discs. Depends on what shape and sizes you want, how big you want your wall hangings to be. Wall hanging to be. So let me show you some more patterns up here. That how you can make different shapes and sizes of wall hanging using these CDs. Such as kids can make this small one wall hanging just making one CD disc. That's fine. Or you can make. attach four and with all the different designs and this one i have attached five series and these are very simple patterns i just drew some lines and colored it and i have this one which is like a round shape so this is all the ideas however you like your wall hanging to be you just keep attaching it the way you want one more design i would like to explain in this wall hanging i have used one cd on top then i attached two then i attached three so this is also one another design and i i have created another part of this wall hanging too as you see one two and three if i want a big if you would like to have a big wall hanging we can attach both and make it a bigger so let's attach it we are going to use the same same technique we used before so use your cardboard strips put it between two discs and just tape it okay so now this is our bigger wall hanging since we attached two pieces to make it bigger so you can be more creative and use your imagination how you want to create your wall hanging Thanks for watching. I hope I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.